Sure. I write for Style Weekly. i um, been covering this for a while. So we'll probably do a QA. and a um, And so just to start off with, since we don't have much time, uh, how bad do you think this is going to get? So right now we're tracking the virus. We actually started that in January when we first heard about it. We're, um, we've followed what's gone on in other countries and what's gone on in other states. And we're, uh, we're looking at, you know, how we apply that knowledge here. So we do expect the numbers to increase um, and we're gonna follow that each week so that we can really have a sense of what's going on. Okay, another question is, I mean, there's been a lot of talk um, in Virginia. Uh, I wrote a story, in, as everyone else has this week, about uh, the lack of uh, personal protective equipment and, and other things such as, um, you know, ventilators and things like that. How serious is that? Sure, are the shortages? So Virginia set up what's called a unified command. It's a coordinated approach to bring all the different sectors together and to respond to this um, to this health crisis. So they have a healthcare coordination committee and they're looking now at what resources they have, what gaps they might have, and they're actively planning to address those issues. They're the best group to really talk about um, the situation now in Virginia. I see. Do you know when there might when it might peak? Any ideas? So, you know, we don't have that information. What we're doing is is following the numbers. We are looking at different models, uh, but it depends on how much social distancing or how much we are able to keep people apart so that the virus spreads more slowly. So the more slowly it spreads, the, the um, less steep that curve will be of increasing cases. Um, and at some point it will level off and decrease. So we're just, we are watching it every day and we're looking at what's happened elsewhere and applying those, those lessons um, and just taking it one day at a time. Okay. Um, one thing that's come up in recent weeks, uh, particularly with Donald Trump's um, uh, talks and announcements, there seems to be a balance here that uh, whether you want to support the economy or you want to uh, work for the health side and contain the virus. What are your views on that? I mean, I, we have to do both. It is a health crisis, and we also um, have to look at the e economic impacts of that. There's going to be economic impacts no matter what policies, you know, are put into place. So we're tracking the disease. We're looking at what's going on. We're providing information to the public, to policymakers, to others, and we'll continue to do that. Another question, there's news today that a hospital in Boston, uh, a lot of the health workers there uh, have uh, gotten the disease. I mean, like some, more than 100, I think. And is, could that happen here in Virginia? So health, we are providing information to healthcare providers about infection control, and this is building on what they do every day. So this isn't the only infectious disease. There are many infectious diseases, and healthcare systems work to, to control those diseases. So, uh, you know, they're using the resources and knowledge that they have, and they're responding to the situation, um, and we're tracking the information and providing up-to-date information to healthcare providers. Okay. Now, some people have suggested that with warmer weather that the, um, the, the spread may lessen somewhat. Is that true? We don't know that yet. Um, there have, you know, there have, there's studies that have been done um, are not conclusive. So we hope there'll be some kind of seasonal effect, but we don't know that. We're watching this carefully to see what happens. Okay. Now, if the disease ends, does it somehow mutate? I'm not sure I understand that. Uh, can you just give a brief explanation of what, that, what, what would happen? Apparently it happened with SARS and MERS and other stuff. So it just, it's, it depends on how easily it spreads from person to person. There aren't people in Virginia who have had this disease before, so right now it can spread through our population. Um, and so it's more when people um, have been exposed to it and they recover, then they're, not, then they're immune, and that slows down the spread in the future. So there's lots so of they information. Could be immune? There's it, uh, yes. And then after, so. We are tracking this, and if you go to our website, it's vdh.virginia.gov. It has a lot of information about this, and that's, that's a great place to track what's going on and also get tips for how to protect yourself and your family. I see. How much time do we have? I think we're done. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.